Good afternoon, folks. This is Marius from MariusLandman.com and from the Twitter handle LandM underscore Marius. Thank you for David who sent me this uh, T-shirt, the Litecoin T-shirt. Thank you very much. Awesome work, man. Today we're going to get into the worldwide update number 32 for uh, people around the world who invest in Bitcoin and also for those people who are considering getting into Bitcoin at this point in time. It's one of the most amazing times to get into Bitcoin while Bitcoin is at an low point. Okay, now some of the information that I will give you won't have all the factors in there because most of the data is for our premium members. But in helping the community worldwide, I'm going to present a few factors that will give you enough confidence that you are at the right place at the right time. First of all, the first thing that I want to show you here is the fact that we are right now in a falling wedge pattern. And what I've done is to draw that little line there. You can see that dark purple line there and the dark purple line here on the bottom. Now, as you can see that the market is actually coming down with a few sub waves and we are right down there now at 6,100. This report that you see here on the screen, which is basically 22 June, is the one that we gave to our premium subscribers just before the market was going to drop. We saw that this was a rising wedge, and what happens with a rising wedge is that you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sub waves, and then you would get a drop. And in this case, the market dropped, it went up slightly, and then had a big drop. We saw that and we basically recommended to our subscribers that said your exit strategy is that you would sell at 6487, sell 25% of your portfolio. When the market drops further, sell 20%. If the market drops further, sell 15 And this is the way downwards how you sell your market. And here are the entry buy points as well. Now remember guys that these entry buy points are suggested safe zone entry points. If the market drops down to 5,900, I think that is where I bought some Litecoin as well. And I also bought some Bitcoin as well. So this is actually only a safe zone buy. We are looking at the market moving back up to 6,896, and that will be a good entry point. That may change depending on what happens over this weekend going into next week. So what happened is we uh, included Dell. We said that Dell in 2002 had a similar situation where the market basically created a rising wedge and you see your seven subwaves. The market dropped down and then it went up again. And it's nothing different with what is actually happening here with Bitcoin guys where the market is just simply dropping down and you can see the market now starting to return back and it could do something similar like that of Dell and then retrace and then go back up again. This one is a rising wedge and you can see that it wedges upwards with this one forming on Bitcoin now is a falling wedge. Now, if you can look at the screen here, you'll see that we have seven sub waves and those are the seven sub waves that I showed you there where the market comes down. That is your one line, your two, your three down, your four up, your five down, your six up, your seven down and then the market drops. And it's very similar to what is happening with Bitcoin here at the very moment. On the right hand side, as I say, we've got the rising wedge and then we've got a falling wedge on the left hand side with Bitcoin. A falling wedge normally means that the market will actually go up once it reaches that low point. And bear with me as we go through this. That is line one, line two, three down, four up, five down six up seven down and right there at the moment where we are on the bottom now we expect the market to start moving up and then breaking out okay so this is one of the elements that i wanted to show you now if it happens on a global scale like this um it's massive guys it's basically year from february till now in june so you look at February, March, April, May, June, five months, five months of consolidating downwards. And imagine that pressure that is building up with the volume declining. And it's very important that you do understand what I'm saying here, guys, is that the volume there is declining. 
that is what we need for that falling wedge to move upwards now because this is consolidated over a period of five or six months we can't just simply say that the market is going to break out let's say next week tuesday we just simply don't know bitcoin will run its own date it'll run its own time you just need to sit on the side and be a little bit more patient but look at the view from a larger perspective and you will see that we are right at the bottom there we are not up there we are not up there we are on the bottom there and on the bottom means if you take that line from the left to the right and you create that falling wedge and you see the pattern it indicates to you that Bitcoin is about to make a move upwards the other indicator that I would like to show you is the fact that Bitcoin has created a triple bottom now if we zoom in here we will see that that we've got a line there where Bitcoin has touched that little line there there's another line there and we have another line there so in this case we have created a triple bottom and what happens after a triple bottom is that the market simply goes up now you can go to stockcharts.com and have a look and see what is a triple bottom a triple bottom reversal is a bullish reversal pattern typically typically found in bar charts and in this you can see that there's a an adorka of what is that of 2000 uh, 31 may 2000 let me just zoom that up a little bit and see if we can make that a little bit larger for you um okay there we go you can see that happened here is that we have a bottom there a bottom there and a bottom there and those are three bottoms over a period of time which is december february march april and then what happens after that is that the market simply just goes sideways upwards have a break above the resistance come back exactly picturesque exactly what we should expect from that and then the market obviously then breaks upwards so guys in this case the second uh, point that I want to show you is the triple bottom the you can also see that the uh, volume is declining and uh, that is actually a really good point for us as well the next point that I really want to mention is if you look on the screen you will see this yellow block that I've drawn here and you'll also see that pink or purple however it shows on YouTube uh, rather pink little segment there now as you can see here from the high of 19663 we created the 11690 range and that yellow block here is basically let me just see if I can uh, change the color of the so that is the color of this block and you can see that the line goes from the top down there it touches there we just draw that in so you can see that as well so we touch there we touch there there's a touch and then there was the breakout and then obviously we touched here now this flag here if you were to draw the five subways in here it would look something similar like this we've got your a your b your c your d and your e and then up here that is where we had the breakout right through that obviously came down and is forming this little pattern here now and uh, as we say together with that falling wedge we see a breakout at that point so first we've gone through the falling wedge we've shown you the triple bottom I've also shown you the bull flag but more important I also want to show you this little pink bull flag what is happening there let's just clean this up this should give you confidence that what is happening in the market is something really amazing and that we are about to break out now see there where the market has broken out it's actually forming another bull flag where that is your flag pole and this is your flag on the right hand side and if we were to put that into this little channel here where it touches the top touches that you can literally see that we are or that we are creating the five ABCDE subwaves again so from there is the top 
and let's say if we go right down to the bottom let's say there that's your A your B your C your D and your E now remember guys there's the D that's the E and there's the E again and let me circle that for you so you can see that that's your E and that is your E now we didn't expect the market to break down further but the point is that we are on the low point here what happened when it reached E it broke upwards what happens here at E we expect a break upwards now remember guys with Bitcoin anything really can happen but if we look at the technical data and we look at our algorithm data we can basically see the time has really expanded here uh, by going downwards the only conclusion that we come to when we look at this algorithm data is normally what would happen is that the market would break out here from your E come down touch there and then go back up and we expected the market to literally do that but we have another little downtrend which is this one here the only conclusion the only conclusion that I'm gonna come to here from everything that we have studied so far is that this breakout year when it breaks out is going to be gigantic I'm going to say it again guys the breakout that is coming is going to be massive now if you look at the Litecoin chart the Litecoin chart looks similar like this we've got a flag pattern here we've got another flag pattern here and Litecoin has actually created a third little flag there when these things break out it's going to be gigantic now the other point uh, let me just quickly clear this up here another good technical element that I would like to show you is the inverted head and shoulders if we look at this for shoulder left that is your head and right down there that will be the right shoulder if we go and take a look uh, let me just get that right if we were to take that line there for the left hand shoulder and that is your left hand shoulder there and we go down to the head here and we form it there and that will form the left head the head and we go down here for the right hand shoulder then basically what we have got here is a left hand left shoulder a head and a right shoulder from here onwards you would see that to form that right shoulder that we should be breaking upwards and break through and then go round about here to these point number three four and five those points that we marked here as I say we we not going to present all the data uh, most of the data here like for example this one where we warned our subscribers our premium members that listen we uh, market has moved upwards and we have increased the exit strategy and then we say here yeah, that Bitcoin price direction remains upwards but we have identified on the one hour chart a potential formation of a rising wedge which, which indicates a drop so if you want to get access to these kind of reports simply just go to our website here which is marishlandman.com you can click on get membership here that discount will apply to your premium membership for the life of your membership you there's no contracts no conditions what you can do you can get a bit of a discount if you pay for the year you simply click on there it's very quick fill in your details and you have immediate access you can also go through coin payments click on coin payments and that will actually take you to pay with any crypto that you want once you have access you go simply go to my account you click on premium membership and in this account which is the account for premium memberships there's a few videos here that we make uh, this video today will actually be uploaded there and these are the reports like uh, 2 June 6 June up till 22 June where we warned our subscribers of the incoming drop and then on the bottom here you've also got the June videos and if you click on that that will take you directly to the unlisted private YouTube videos and then on the bottom here you will have the archive reports also there's a premium members telegram group uh, make sure that you click on that and follow us on that premium members telegram group so yeah guys uh, these are some of the features that we are seeing now the left hand 
uh, left the head on the right shoulder. I would have liked it if this head shell, this head section would have been a little bit longer so that it sticks out a little bit more. But nonetheless, uh, we still see a potential formation of a head and shoulder. So what I've gone through now is the falling wedge, the triple bottom, the bull flag, the inverted head and shoulders. And the last thing that I just quickly want to go through is the wake-off phase. Go to stockcharts.com. You can read about Richard Wakeoff, born in 1873. And if you go through the step approach, it's really important that you actually go through these, this information. Just scan it, read through it. He talks about the Wakeoff price cycle and where we are now. We, we are literally here now at the accumulation phase where the market is now being oversold. Demand is greater than supply. And literally, folks, uh, let me tell you this. The, the demand for Bitcoin is extremely strong. I'm saying this again. The demand for Bitcoin is extremely strong. As you can see here, volume is declining for Bitcoin. What does that tell you? Does that tell you demand is not strong? No, it's not. It's the opposite. People are simply holding their Bitcoin and they are not selling. What happens when it comes right here to the end when nobody wants to sell? Then people are starting to offer $7,000 a Bitcoin. And you'll see that people still won't sell. And then they'll start offering $8,000 and $10,000 and $12,000 and $20,000. And it's going to go up like that to twenty, to thirty, to $60,000 and $165,000, guys. Bitcoin is not dead. It's at the lowest point in the market at the moment and just yesterday on twitter somebody said to me what are you going to do when bitcoin drops to 5000 all your predictions will be wrong what are you going to say and i basically said i'm going to say nothing because i will disappear for two days in those two days i'm going to farm for money and buy up every single bitcoin that is under $5000 I will call my multi-million dollar investors and we will buy every single Bitcoin that we can lay our hands on. That is if the market drops before be, below $5,000. Folks, can you imagine if I say this? There are people that are multi-millionaires. Don't you think they're going to wrap it up? Which they are doing right now. You can see the volume there where although people have sold, someone else has bought the Bitcoin. There are smart and clever people who just simply hold their Bitcoins and smart and clever people who are buying at these low prices because you will never ever see these prices going forward. And let me explain to you why you won't see it. If you go here to the BNC index, which is basically uh, a chart that indicates to you when Bitcoin started here in August uh, of 2010, when it was like one cent, one cent for Bitcoin. And now it's just over $6,000 a Bitcoin. Okay, that is a massive, let me have a look at this, from there to approximately there, that's a 20,000, let me say this again, 20,000% gain. Look at that, guys, 20,000% gain. Now, what I did is actually to mark this up and say, said, yeah, okay, wait a second, if we go up 20,000% year, we look at three point, gosh, folks, if we do the same what we did in the past eight years and going forward eight years from now, Bitcoin will literally be $3.7 million a Bitcoin. Is it going to be impossible to hit $3.7 million? No, it's not. You know, you need to understand that we sit here with a financial instrument that is going to take over the current fiat system in years from now. And if you look at that rise from one cent 
to where we are now at six thousand dollars and the all-time high at about twenty thousand dollars as i said from that high point there folks we went up twenty thousand percent here we could potentially go up another twenty thousand percent and that will be three point seven million dollars from now i don't want you to come to that point in the future when you are old and you've got your grandchildren and you say to yourself in the year 2018 your granddad could buy bitcoin at six thousand dollars a coin and now it's 3.7 million guys it's not impossible because do you think those people here at this point when it was one cent ever ever said that bitcoin is going to reach six thousand dollars or even twenty thousand dollars nothing is impossible and I tell you this now, guys, with the, with the terrible manipulation of the fiat currencies, where the Federal Reserves can simply just go and print money and in, infuse that in the market, you know, it's, it's not a good situation for us. And you can read that all over the place, that the world currencies and fiat markets are going to have a major problem. Now, while we're here on the big view picture, I want you to understand that the Bitcoin year runs from 1 April 2018 to 31 March 2019. We are the only people in the world, the only company in the world that have identified the Bitcoin cycle to run in that sequence. There are 16 phases in a Bitcoin year. We are now in phase number three. We are barely getting started, folks. Let me bring up Twitter and show you a tweet that I just tweeted yesterday. Now, if you go to my Twitter handle, it's landm underscore Marius, and you'll see that this is a tweet that I just sent yesterday. I'm going to enlarge that a little bit, and hopefully you'll see on the screen here. The next four years will be upcycle years. In 2018, $1.3 trillion will enter the market. Folks, I said that in the beginning of the year on 12 February 2018, and I made the statement that from our calculations and our algorithm data, that we have identified that $1.3 trillion right at that point is going to enter in 2018-2019, before this Bitcoin cycle year is over. By the end of this cycle, the market cap will be $1.3 trillion dollars. All our predictions will come true. Zoom out and see the larger view. We are in a multi-year uptrend. We are not in a downtrend. I don't see that. We don't see that. It's going to run for another four years, guys. And I've told you that many, many, many times before. So to struggle around the price where the price is, is it going to go to 5,000? Is it going to go to 4,000? Who the hell cares? Okay, this is the time when you need to buy and get into Bitcoin and simply hold those Bitcoins. And then we look at less than 3% of the world population is in cryptos. Guys, 3% of the world population are doing cryptos. The reason is, is because we right here at the bottom here, if you look at the blockchain business value forecast, we are right at the bottom here. People have not even started to adopt cryptos all over the place. Okay, it's, it's only starting now. You are a pioneer in cryptos. This is what you need to understand. And this is why all the anger against me when people tweet out all these anger messages and derogatory comments and call me all sorts of names. That's why I don't care about it because... Your psychologists indicate to you that before a major upcycle, you can expect those kind of derogatory terms. I look at that as a positive sign. So thank you for those trolls. I really appreciate it. You just confirmed to me that we are in a multi-year upcycle. And then financial institutions are ready to start investing. Most of those financial institutions are my clients. They buy our data. And then financial institutions are ready to start investing. I've gone through this multiple times, guys. Every single large financial institution is setting up a exchange. I told you that in the beginning of the year. And I predicted that in our trend and forecast. Now, JP Morgan setting up their own exchange. Goldman Sachs setting up their own exchange. Guys, 
how much more evidence do we need to present to show to you that Bitcoin is in a multi-year up cycle trend? It's going to break out here and is going to go up to multi thousand dollar high points. It's going to make six thousand dollars look like one cent. Then what we also said a while ago is that we have four years to complete that cycle. So we're going to go up into cycle one, two, three, four. So four cycle years. So go through that tweet there. Uh, really important that you actually just understand that Bitcoin is in a multi-year uptrend. Mount Everest has four descending patterns. Before you reach the top of Mount Everest, Bitcoin, Litecoin, cryptos are no different. But it's going to have ups and downs. But once you zoom out and have a look at the large picture, you're not worried anymore. We all believe crypto is going up. Otherwise, we won't still be here. Timing is everything. Trading. If you can't get that right, don't trade. Look at this, guys. It's not only the charts that determine price action of any asset. In this case, numbers you claim are way below mining cost. Now, if heat that level, miners would stop mining and they won't make money and then we can have a big issue. It's a very valuable point, folks, that the miners will not be selling Bitcoin if the market goes less than I would say about 5,800. Because the CME futures is going to have a, a large problem if Bitcoin drops below 5.8. That means the market cap will be below 100 billion. And they will have to start thinking of delisting the CME futures. So even our enemy, the financial institutions, most probably will not allow Bitcoin to drop too low. Now, if it drops and it goes down to 5,000 and 4,500, it's like I said, I'm going to buy and I'm going to buy a lot more. And you can see here from declining volume, people are simply just not selling their Bitcoin. If you accumulate all that coins there, you know, if people were scared, these lines would have been extremely high and the price of Bitcoin would have dropped a lot more. We are consolidating. I've shown you now the falling wedge. I've shown you now the triple bottom. I've shown you now the two bull flags. I've shown you the inverted head and shoulders. And I have shown you the wake off phase where we are now in the accumulation phase and we're just starting to go up to where demand is greater than supply. And that section there, that is what we are looking at now. By the way, if you go to the wake off phase, you'll see that Bitcoin is basically forming, uh, let's just pull that out and see if I can show you that. So when we go here to Bitcoin, now look at this, one, two, three downtrends, one, two, three. And look at that upcycle there, upcycle there again, down, upcycle again, down. And we are now, we are now right here where it says, um, okay, so we are right here now, just there. And you can see that that low point there could perhaps be that we've just hit that low point there now on, on the chart there. So that low point there could be that low point there. See that low point there, one there, one there, one a little bit lower than the other one. So we shot up there, came down, shot up, and we came down. So my opinion, I believe that we are going to head up there and form that little pattern upwards there. But don't be surprised if Bitcoin just simply breaks out at any given time without any notice. Okay, the last little thing that I would like to show you guys here is if you look at uh, this little chart here, which I say is the BNC uh, index, it's basically your Brave New Coin Liquid Index. One of the things that you see here, and let me just make some room here. If we were to say that this, can okay, I remember I'm going through this as the global view. It's I'm zoomed out completely and I'm looking at eight or nine years of Bitcoin trading. And you can't have better data than simply what we are looking at now. 
Now, okay, what do you see forming here? Okay, a very, very large, massive, massive cup and handle. What happens after the formation of a cup and handle? What do you think? The market simply breaks out upwards. Okay, so this for me is one of the vital indicators that we are in a humongous incoming uptrend now let's rephrase i've gone through the cup and handle on the eight or nine year bitcoin price index okay so we give that a mark and the tick i've gone through the wake off phase with you i've gone through the inverted head and shoulders on the bitcoin chart which has formed over a period of months I've gone through the two bull flags, which is this one here, the yellow, and then the pink one that we had there. We've gone through the amazing triple bottom, which spanned over a period of months. And then this one here, which is the last one. I'm going to say this again, folks. This is your falling wedge. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines, and it's going to go up. Possibly there, and then down, and the rest of the information is going to be for our premium subscribers. We do have certain dates there which go between 4 July, a date in August, and also a date in September. Um, okay, so I'll just leave that there. Again, for those who want to become subscribers, simply go to marieslanton.com, click on get your membership. Listen, guys, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I hope that with this video that we made um, public to the world, which is called the Worldwide Bitcoin Video Update number 32, I hope that we have input a bit of value into your cryptocurrency investments. If you have any further questions, you are free to contact me on my Twitter handle, which is landm underscore Marius. Contact us there. Send us a message. We respond to as many messages as we can. Of course, we get um, a whole bunch of messages on a daily basis. If we are day late with responding, please just bear with us. But we will get to that. Our team, uh, we are here to support you. And I am going to go with you from 2018 right through for the next four years simply follow our reports it's $24.95 a month is cheap i'm going to keep it that way because we are here to help the crypto community you simply need to follow these reports like this one here where we give you an exit strategy we we'll also give you a safe zone entry point you will have charts like this on a weekly basis two three or four of them and we also give a lot of updates on the telegram channel but most important folks it's it's really just all about you changing your mindset and get it into your mind that you need to be positive and have these positive attributes that come out because when you are positive you create a strong mind and nothing ever will push you off that foundation. Your foundation is patience and a strong mentality. I've said it multiple, multiple times. I don't read the FUD. I don't look at all the garbage around me. I'm strong, I'm positive, and I want you to have that same attribute. The third thing is zoom out and just have a look at the large picture. I tell you now, that the chance for you to be successful and become financially free is going to happen. Okay, have a good day. Talk to you soon. It's Marius here. Thank you.